Um, I chose to start my own photography business because um, I've always um, had a love for photography. I needed a new job, a new career. I was um, quitting my other one and I knew I wanted to stay home with the kids but I needed um, income. So I started my own business. Um, I sort of fell into it naturally. A lot of my friends were asking me to take pictures of their babies and I didn't have the equipment so I researched and um, decided that that was a good career for me. My dad has always had a love for photography and that's sort of where I came by it naturally. Um, we had a dark room in our house growing up and um, he also helped me with some of my initial supplies and um, camera and some other things to get me started. Um, was it hard to start? Yes, it was hard. Um, I did a lot of things on my own. Some things that I could have hired out, but I didn't. Um, I put my own website together, which took a lot of time because I am not um, a web designer, but I actually learned how to do that. And it was a good thing to do that because I did a lot of research and I made a lot of smart choices for my website. Um, it was not hard for me to do the photography part of it because I've sort of grown up with that. Um, learning what I needed to have and what I sh shouldn't have purchased. That was kind of a learning curve. And um, it took me a couple of years to really get used to um, what I needed to run the business as I wanted to run it. Um, okay, risks. The biggest risk I anticipated was the money that I needed to spend to start the business um, versus how much money I anticipated getting back, um, especially sort of right away. I knew I would eventually make that money back, but I also know that um, as you continue in a business, you have to continue purchasing things to either keep up with things or new new technology or to replace what you have that's worn out. And so I knew that the biggest risk would be the money that we put out. Um, I didn't have any other real risks because I was doing my um, business out of my home, um, so I didn't have that lease overhead and those other things that go with um, having a business outside of the home. most favorite thing about having my own business is that um, I get to work um, according to my own rules. I would like to say it's I get to work when I want to, but actually that sort of goes with the, what I don't like is that I don't really get to work when I want to. I really have to work almost all the time. I work more hours than I would if I were working for someone else. Um, and so that's one thing I don't like about it. Um, I do like the flexibility of being able to make my own plans and to see them through or to succeed or fail with them, they're still my own plans and so I like that. Um, and on the flip side, that's also the negative is that I don't have someone else who's done this before that's telling me, hey, do this, we need to do this, um, and it works. Sometimes the things I do don't work to the way I want them to, so that's something I don't like. I, I think they kind of all go hand in hand, like the things I like are also the things I don't like. To get new clients, I have um, two things that I do. I do a mass mailing for babies. I have to open this one. 
Um, so I have a company that sends out and prints and sends out these mailers. Um, and it's, they send them to moms of newborns for one month, two month, three month olds. And they have a follow up postcard. Um, I also send some things out on my own. Um, and then I am very, very diligent with my website. I try to make sure that I have proper keywords in there so that people are calling me that just do web searches. More and more and more people don't like mailers as much as they like to go on their own and, and research. I make sure I have current photos on my blog, on um, Facebook, and on my website and that um, I am continually refining those things to try to get new clients. I had to start the business. Um, everything was funded with our personal money. Um, it didn't take long to start paying some of that back, um, but I didn't draw a salary for quite a while. Um, and then some of my um, equipment was actually given to me by my dad, um, either before or after I start, wanted to start my business.